What's up, guys? Shaker getting getting back some Valhalla Cyberpunk bartender action! We're hanging out at the bar. We just gave this lady whose name I don't remember one Fringe Weaver, so let's see what kind of mischief we can get up to today. What kind of memories do you have with Rum? She just said she didn't have good memories with Rum. I don't remember her name, but I remember she didn't like Rum. Nothing you need to worry about. Okay, good talk. Yay, this was fun. Let's do it again sometime. All right, now it's my turn to ask questions. That's not how this works. I'm a bartender. About what? What kind of family is your family? A human one. Well, I mean, I'm an only child, so my mom and dad split amicably. I said so as though that justified the next sentence, but it didn't. I thought it would, but it didn't. My mom is a violinist. Okay, that's weird. So she was always away from home with the orchestra. That's such a cool career, though. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh. Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or whatever? Yeah, just her veins, though. That doesn't really help. She played the violin with her veins. It was very strange. I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? Violin sucks. I don't know. I just kind of said, that's it one day and stopped. Wow, this song is way too fucking intense for what's happening right now. I'm just going to let it play, though. It's fucking kicks ass. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. They're actually invisible, thanks for asking. Maybe because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. Wow, that's so... Where are we? Are we in America? Britain? Japan? Japan would make the most sense, probably. Japan. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? Nope. Oh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't fucking know. I can't speak French. Got her, dude. I did try, though. But college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. This is seriously so intense, I can barely fucking concentrate. This, yes. Better. But you'll be hard-pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. You're kinda lucky, you know. All my mom's side of the family lives here. Wow, that sucks. Having family nearby, I can't imagine. The chance of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family's ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Totally forgot this girl was a hacker. That's what happens when you stop playing a game for like a year. But cool! She's the prettiest hacker I've ever seen. Most hackers are not pretty. Please don't, ever. It sounds like something somebody would say to make bartender sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker's a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want me to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. It's called a white hack hacker. Hacker's still in the fucking name. What are you talking about, Alma? Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security, I'm their woman. You told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info like some kind of mercenary, though. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. Makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job, Jesus. What made you become a hacker, by the way? If you don't want me to call it hacker, you need to give me another name to call it. I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kinda samey. So, when I started college, I took a course on system security. Felt like the kind of puzzle I was lurking, looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I helped make harder at that. Huh. You know, I never really thought about it that way. It is less action-y than what movies make it out to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. You don't ever share your keyboard with your coworker so you can hack twice as fast? I'm trying. It's moving too fast. Oh, this is not good. I'm pretty sure that's how real-life hacking works, but I guess what do I know? Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. It's almost as good as seeing your code break everything. That's a joke. That sucks. I hate it. Will you believe anything else? Hmm, I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Well, here goes nothing. She wants a fucking classy drink. Wow, there's a category for classy drinks. This is gonna be easier than I thought it would. 
one classy ass velvet weaver for the fine lady. Yep, just what I needed, thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, I mean, people have the right to not give me money, I guess, which is pretty bad. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus, which also sucks. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have bills to pay. Mouths to feed, you know? And there ain't no rest for the wicked. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Everyone does, Jill. That's a fucking stupid question. No. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. It's a lot. Well, my job pays pretty well. I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Does she have a pair of robot hands? That's so fucking cool! Oh, I know! If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? I'm in. Sold. Yes, we're doing that. We could be roommates! Dunno. No, we know. That's- it's a yes. It's a yes from me. We're going in there. Moving my stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken? Really? That's your problem is moving your stuff? Throw it all in the garbage. We have nothing worth keeping except for the slut shirt in our closet. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut-in that got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I've, I've thought about it before. Moving in with a pretty lady, I mean. Now I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taken from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. And we take our break. Yay! Anyways, back at it. It's now safe to keep playing. It's always safe to keep playing. But whatever. Oh, cold, 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 cold. Anyways, we gotta set the music again. We're gonna do the same music. Ooh, there's that intense song back, baby! It sure is chilly out there. Oh man, things are gonna heat up. This is gonna be a fucking bar fight. It's kind of refreshing, though. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's awesome, dude. Very respectful. Apparently, he got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. Really? He can also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I actually have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. Eh, you can't tell with some people, sadly. Why do you think I'm a hobo in the first place? I thought, what, how, oh, the cousin, not Billy Vine or whatever. Bad investments in debt. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh, that really sucks, actually. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic, epilep, I can't say that word, apparently. He's got epilepsy, which attacks him, but he refuses to take his meds. I just don't get what's up with him. Honey, some service here. Oh, Christ. I'm here, don't scream or do whatever you were just doing. Oh, ho! were you two hanging at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Oh, you know, just hand stuff. Just talking, I mean. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet, no alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine, then? But I like you! Do you dislike my presence so much? Oh, fuck. No comment. Sweet non-alcoholic, you say? Okay, alcohol-free. Do we even have that? Sweet. I don't know. Does Oh, this is optional, Camara Trine? Does that mean it doesn't have alcohol? I don't know. What did she want? She wanted sweet. Okay, flavor. Sweet. Sparkle Star. Are all of these non-alcoholic? I don't know. I'm not a drink doctor, not spicy, sweet. Blue Fairy. It's all got optional Kamaramatrine, so we're just gonna assume those don't have alcohol, and I'm just gonna serve her a piano woman. Never mind, this has a bunch of shit in it. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Sparkle Star- no, Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush. I got this, maybe. Alright, one virgin sugar rush, maybe? I'm trying here. Here, like you asked, maybe. Assuming optional caramatron means no alcohol. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. What a weird guy. Lawrence. A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Okay, sure. Oh! I could have guessed that, maybe. 
Oh, but how impolite of me! Hmm? I'm lovely, my- I'm lovely? That's very self-centered of me, but fine, I'm very full of myself. My name's Dorothy, Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep, why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me! Mostly about your, uh, pluckiness. Your pluckiness. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. Well, so much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Oh, she's got like a cute face. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. I thought you said that wasn't the right word. What is the right word, woman? Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged in on some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about what being a hacker... How being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? N no What? How would that even work? I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. You seem very dumb. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you know what? Moving on. We're not even gonna think about it. It was a success! Great. So glad to hear you didn't fail at that. Ahem. <clears throat> okay, then. Let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve some information from a company's database. Okay! First, I have to do some research on the target. OS, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. She's not getting this at all. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try the known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. Uh, I see. Not getting any of this, I get it. Then, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How, how, how do you do that? Well, I mean, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use the info someone's already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. B -b 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 what happens next? What happens next? I... I create a back door in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I can't... I can't handle it anymore! Oh, my hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! Okay. This, somehow, was not what I was expecting. But also, pretty hot. Let's do it. Eh? Make me buffer overflow! Create a back door in me! Escalate your user privileges! Find flaws in my security! Um? I've gotta go! Yeah, you should go. S <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. You don't say. No shit, what the fuck just happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? Yo, this music's my jam. But they have to make it sound like they're having sex instead? I don't know what she's talking about. I've never seen any of these movies, apparently. Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it. Because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you record yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum are an unexploited market. I... Uh, okay, I see. Oh, looks like my ride's here. I need to leave immediately. Your ride. Y yeah, my brother-in-law came to look for me. I is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay! I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Oh, and now Jill's alone. This is so sad. Take care. Bye-bye. Now I'm alone and sad. The street seems noisy. 
Oh, a client. Okay. Before we find out what kind of mischief this client's gonna get us into, I'm gonna draw this episode to a close, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and be sure to tune next week for more Battle Halo with yours truly. I'll see you guys then.